Back everyone, the supply chain crisis has taken a toll on our small businesses across the city, including several a la holiday market in Brooklyn, which are trying to desperately keep products on the shelves for customers to buy this holiday season. News 12 Janae Caldwell has more on how they're trying to do this. Holiday markets around this time of year are busy with local vendors selling everything from clothing to accessories to food products. I have all variety of different flavors. It's not just a pepper sauce, it's a fruit based hot sauce pepper sauce. But this year, as the supply chain crisis continues to impact businesses, some vendors at the Brooklyn Commons holiday market say they're having trouble keeping their shelves stocked. There's like a, a chain of event. So it's a problem with employees, how much products I can make how much I could afford to bring out. Kevon Heath, owner of Uncle Yankee's Pepper Sauce, says the price of his ingredients have more than doubled. I used to pay like $150 for strawberry, now it's like five, six dollars. I'm talking wholesale. I'm talking like pineapple went up. Everything went up. Felicia Eve is the owner of String Thing Studio, and she says some of her products are being delayed. I get my inventory probably a day or two later than I normally would have. Um, and in some instances, if it's waiting for it to be delivered from someplace else, it could be months. And they're not alone. Jennifer Wong, owner of Gone to the Dog, says along with shipping delays and inflation, she's also seeing a labor shortage. The labor shortage has definitely caused um, a dip in sales just because we don't have people to help us sell our products. But vendors say they're still pushing forward, working around those challenges and ordering more supplies so they can get as many products to the market as possible. It's more bulk buying right now. You can't one here, no two there. And as they continue to push forward, they're hopeful that markets like this will help them reach more customers and boost sales as they work to keep their businesses going. In downtown